So today, we have such an exciting episode. Like seriously, we're making what I consider to be the ultimate summer seafood skillet. Now the beauty of this recipe, besides how easy it is to make, and that it comes together in just 30 minutes, is that it truly has the most incredible depth of flavors, and that it's all done using just one pan. Folks, serve the seafood skillet next to a crunchy baguette and a chilled bottle of Spanish white wine from the wine region of Rias Baixas, and you're gonna have yourself one heck of an incredible meal. Really quick before we begin, a shout out to a couple of my patrons Patrons, Jim Schaller, Uncle Bud, Karen Bird, and Barbara Eastman. Again, guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. All right, let's just dive right into this recipe. I'm gonna grab a large fry pan. You can also use a stock pot here if you prefer. Heat it with a medium heat and add in about three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, which is 45 milliliters. While the olive oil is heating, I'm gonna grab eight scallops, place them over some paper towels, and pat them completely dry. Now the scallops that I'm using I bought frozen and thawed out is to make things easier and cheaper. Of course, you can totally use fresh scallops here. Either way, make sure you pat them completely dry. And we'll season the scallops with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper just on one side. Then we'll add the scallops into the pan with the hot olive oil, making sure they're all in a single layer. And I always like to add the first one by the handle and then go in a circular motion. That way when you have to flip them, you know where to begin. That way they all evenly saute. After about one minute, I'm gonna gently flip the scallops to cook the other side. After a total cooking time of two minutes on the scallops, that's one minute per side, and they have a beautiful crusty sear, I'm gonna remove them from the pan and set them aside. Now using the same pan with the same heat, I'm gonna add in one small onion that I roughly chopped, one carrot that's been peeled and roughly chopped as well, one celery stick that's been thinly sliced, and six cloves of garlic that I roughly chopped. And we'll mix the vegetables around, that way they're all coated in that olive oil, and it's very important to mix them continuously, that way they don't brown too quickly, and they all evenly saute, and also as you're mixing them, make sure to scrape up anything that was left over from those scallops, as that truly gives this dish an incredible death of flavors. After about three minutes, and the vegetables are lightly sauteed, and they have a light golden fried color to them, I'm gonna add in half a cup of tomato sauce, which is 115 grams, one teaspoon of dried thyme, which is about one gram, and we'll season everything with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll give it a quick mix, that way everything's evenly mixed together, and then simmer the tomato sauce just for a couple minutes. As always, the tomato sauce that I'm using, I made by finely grating fresh tomatoes, but you can also use passata here, or even canned tomato sauce. After simmering the tomato sauce for about three minutes, and it's slightly thickened up, I'm gonna add in one third cup of white wine, which is about 80 milliliters. If white wine is not your thing, you can use broth here, but let me tell you the white wine is what gives this dish that incredible death of goodness. After about two minutes, and the alcohol has cooked off in the wine, and it has slightly thickened up, I'm gonna add in one and a half cups of fish broth, which is 350 milliliters. You'll find a link where you can get the Spanish fish broth that I'm using to make this recipe in the description box below. And let me tell you, for this recipe, you wanna use a great fish broth, as it truly is what flavors the entire dish. And we'll also pinch in a quarter teaspoon of saffron threads, which is 0.17 grams. Then we'll turn up the heat from a medium heat to a high heat. And we'll give it a quick mix and bring that broth to a boil. As always, the saffron I'm using in this dish is from Golden Saffron. Like I always tell you, this is one of the greatest saffrons in the market. You'll find a link where you can get some in the description box below. Once the broth comes to a boil, I'm gonna place a lid on the pan and lower the fire to a low medium heat. And we're gonna simmer the broth between six to eight minutes. This is enough time for the vegetables to get nice and tender and for all the flavors to develop. In the meantime, let's start getting the rest of the seafood ready. I'm gonna grab a filet of cod. This is 14 ounces, which is about 400 grams, and pat it completely dry with paper towels. Now the cod that I'm using, I bought frozen and thawed out, is to make things easier and cheaper. But of course, you can totally use fresh cod here, as well as any other type of firm white fish. 
Then we'll cut the cod fillet into small pieces that are about one inch by one inch, which is two and a half centimeters by two and a half centimeters. And we'll season the cod with some sea salt and black pepper. Then I'm gonna add an eight raw jumbo shrimp that have been peeled and deveined over some paper towels and pat them completely dry. Once again, the shrimp that I'm using, I bought frozen and thawed out, but you can totally use fresh shrimp here as well. And we'll season the shrimp with sea salt and black pepper. So important to season your seafood before you add it into the pan, that way it's full of flavor. And for the final ingredient, I've got about 10 fresh mussels here. I bought these pre-cleaned at the market, so I just gave them a quick rinse under some water. If you can't find them pre-cleaned in your area, no big deal. Just clean your mussels under some cold running water. Just remove that beard and then scrub them clean to remove any of the barnacles. All right, let's move back to the skillet. It's been simmering between six to eight minutes. And at this point, those vegetables should be nice and tender and all the flavors fully developed. I'm gonna remove the lid from the pan Add in the pieces of cod, making sure to evenly spread them out. And we'll also add in the mussels, once again making sure they're evenly spread out. Then we'll place the lid back on the pan. And we're going to simmer this between 4 to 5 minutes or until those mussels are fully open. After about 5 minutes, I'm going to remove the lid. And as you can see, all the mussels have opened. If you have any that haven't, discard them from the pan. For the final step, I'm gonna add in the shrimp into the skillet, once again, making sure to evenly spread them around. And we'll also add in the reserve scallops that we seared earlier. Then we'll place the lid back on the pan and go for another one to two minutes. This is enough time for those shrimp to be perfectly cooked and for those scallops to get heated through. After about two minutes, I'm gonna remove the pan from the heat and we'll garnish it with a couple slices of lemon and some finely chopped fresh parsley. Check it out, the ultimate summer seafood skill is done. You can also call this a seafood stew. Either way, it was very easy to make. It's got a beautiful presentation and the aromas coming out of it are mind blowing delicious. Truly the kind of food that's gonna fill your body with so much goodness. Let's give it a try and see how it turned out. Now this is a dish to truly get excited about because it came out looking so beautiful. This one I cannot wait to try. Here we go. Still nice and hot. Hold on. I need another bite. Sorry, I'm being a little greedy. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. It is absolutely gorgeous. You know, like I told you at the beginning, this dish comes together in about 30 minutes, but it has such a deep concentration of flavors. It feels like it's been simming for hours, folks. The ultimate summer seafood stew gives it a try at home, and I promise it's gonna completely blow away because it is that good. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button as it really helps out the channel. Leave me a comment below and share this video with your family and friends that we are Spain on the floor community can continue to grow. Till the next time, hasta luego. Amazing in every way. Muscle. Too good. He doesn't literally want to use, like, take this into a closet. And eat it all by myself. See you next video.